an Oak Cliff Traditional Theme School content area video. Let's talk about what multiplication is at its most basic. Multiplication is when you are adding the same amount over and over again. So for example, let's say my mom gives me two apples. I have two apples. Now let's say my mom does that again. She gives me another two apples. And let's say she does that again. How many times has she given me two apples? Well, here's the first time she gave me two apples. Here's the second time she gave me two apples. And here's the third time she gave me two apples. So she gave me two apples three times. Three times she gave me two apples. This is why we call them your times tables, because it really does mean how many times you were given that same amount. So I was given the same amount of two apples three different times. If I put those together, I can add them. I can say two plus two plus two equals, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. So three times two equals six. So that's the basics. Now you might be thinking, what if I mess up? and I say two times three instead of three times two. Well, it doesn't really matter which way you write the numbers. So you could say two apples were given to me three times and think of it this way, or you could even look at the other meaning of this, where it actually means that you gave me three apples two times. So let's look at that. So instead of giving me two apples three times, you give me three apples two times. There's the first time and there's the second time. So I've got so I've got three here and I've got three here. And if I add three plus three, I get one, two, three, four, five, six. I still get six. That's something we call the commutative property. You don't need to know the name of it, but you do need to understand that it doesn't matter which order these two numbers are in. If you say 3 times 2 or 2 times 3, it's still going to equal the same answer. And you can see that here. If I have three groups of two apples, that's 6. And if I have two groups of three apples, it's still 6. Now, we have to memorize our times tables to make this very quick. But let's say, for some reason, you're just not able to memorize a particular fact. You can always add to get there. So let's say, for example, I don't know the fact for 5 times 3 or 3 times 5. I know that that means that 3 times somebody gave me 5. So here's the first time, the second time, and the third time. So that is 3 times someone gave me 5 of something. Well, I don't know what 3 times 5 is, but I know that 5 plus 5 is 10, and I know that 10 plus 5 is 15. So I can just add my 5s up and still get the right answer. So to review, multiplication is just repeated addition. It's when I have to add the same number over and over and over again. So if I have to add 4 three times, Instead of having to add 4 plus 4 plus 4, I can memorize what 4 times 3 equals. There's the first time, the second time, and the third time. I could add them all up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Or if I can memorize that 4 times 3 equals 12, it makes this much faster and easier. But remember, if you can't memorize that fact, you can always get there by adding. I have to add the number 4 three times. 4, there's 1, 2, 3. And if I add those up, I'll still get the same answer. I'll still get 12. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Either way, I'm going to come up with 12. Hope this helps with multiplication. Thanks for watching.